under construction, the site of the All Waters Combined Current and Wave Test Facility, or Flow Wave, at the University of Edinburgh's King's Buildings campus. A world first, this unique circular tank marks a pioneering step forward in technology to assist marine energy developers. The wave tank will cost us £9.5 million pounds, and it will be run by Flow Wave which is a wholly owned subsidiary of the university and I'm delighted that we're on track to open in the summer of 2013. The tank's unique circular 25 metre pool will be able to simulate combinations of waves of up to 28 metres high and currents up to 12 knots at up to one tenth scale. Conditions that are currently unavailable to device developers and engineers. With a working area of 15 to 17 metres and a depth of 2 metres, the tank will be able to mimic the normal and extreme conditions of coastlines around Europe. In previous types of tanks, which are normally rectangular, the wave makers would only be on one side, normally the short side of a rectangle, and that meant they could only really send waves down the tank in one direction. So from this we can create the kind of complex seas that really cannot be created in any other kind of tank. For the university which is hosting the tank, this groundbreaking facility marks the culmination of a long history of world-leading research into wave energy. The University of Edinburgh has been involved in marine energy since the, the 1970s and uh, we've had a, a continual programme of development since then. I don't believe there is anywhere in the world which has had that degree of continuity of activity within this field. The Flow Wave facility will enable simulations of various open water conditions quickly and at large scales. This could considerably reduce development times and costs and enable developers to bring their devices to market more quickly and with lower technical risk. We are trying to do something that the oil and gas industry hasn't done, the shipping industry hasn't done. If you're designing an oil platform, you build it to minimise the forces on it. Here we are building devices which are specifically constructed to maximise wave forces, the very thing that other industries try to avoid. In the case of tidal energy, we are working with uh, a resource in which water is travelling at up to three, four metres per second, and uh, we are looking at uh, forces which make those on a wind turbine, quite frankly, look uh, rather trivial. So it's the, it's the simultaneous nature of the resource and the, uh, the, the, the loading that are the real challenge. Funded by the EPSRC, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council and the University of Edinburgh, the facility will be managed by Flowwave TT. The UK has some of the best wave and tidal energy resources in the world. It leads the world in the development and deployment of technologies that will develop these resources. So we have an opportunity which is increased by the availability of this tank to meet our 2020 and 2050 renewable energy targets with a wider range of technologies and also to create employment across the UK in an exciting new sector. The tank will be available for academic and industry research and is also suited to testing of submersible devices remotely operated vehicles, offshore wind installations and service vessels and other marine tools. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.